Hello again. Uh, I'm going to make a quick rundown here. This is going to be on how to install Classic and REA. Well, it's going to, into Classic, excuse me. RxB is going to be first. What we're going to do is we're going to have the folder, you unzip it, and you're going to have one in here called Classic 99 RxB. It has a little readme file in here. Let's take these right here and drag them to the desktop. And then close the folder. Uh, anyways, there's a this one right here we can look at. And all it says is just place these files, place these uh, mod folder in Classic 99, then use the cartridge to open option. So it's just these three files right here. And there they are. So we don't need this anymore. So let's open up Classic. And what you do is you go into um, your mods. Now I have a second folder here. You don't require this, but because I put a whole bunch of crap in here, I do that. <laughs> Sorry. So we just drag these over here and drop them. And uh, I already had some in here, so I'm just going to replace them. And then once you've done that, you can run Classic. And here we go. There's RxB. Now, I did have an INI file here, so let's show you what a copy of my INI file looks like. And this is it right here. I should have probably included this in the Classic 99 folder. You know, I just took it for granted that you guys could just look at this video and do it. Or just type that in. And here's RxBC. And then this one right here is for the D. And then you put in the G0 for whatever bank, Grom Bank you want. Page. Grom Page. Uh, I'm in zero. And then this is RxBG, which is the uh, Grom Bank, which is the only thing I really changed. The other two are exactly like uh, RxB 2001, the um, ROMs, uh, ROM 1 and ROM 2. Anyway, so that's RxB. Here you go. It's easy to load. Now, with the REA, it's pretty much the same thing. It's very easy to put into Classic. Oh, I should have showed you this. There's another way to do this. Uh, now that I've put it in there, and you don't have that uh, INA file, what you can do is do cartridge user open, and then you can look for the folder, like it's in the uh, mods, modules for me. Whoops, sorry. There's the module folder. So you go on down to RxB, Right there, C, D, G. You want the C first. Open it. And that's how easy it is right there. So, it took me a long time to figure this out. It's funny. Uh, let's go to REA. It's just as easy. Come on. Uh, REA is pretty much the same kind of thing. You go to the classic right there. And then we're going to drag these out. You close it. Uh, I will pour over the uh, documents and stuff in the next video. I just wanted to show you this, this right here. So this is Classic 99, and you only have two folders. Now, REA is different. It has R, R, uh, REAG, which is binary, which is your GROMs, at 6,000. This would be your normal editor assembler, except it takes up all of the um, It takes up uh, 40K of GROM. It's not a regular 8K version. I put the uh, editor assembler, GPL assembler, and the uh, editor assembler in there along with the editor. The other one is a RAM for RAM. This is so it's a supercart. Basically, this standalone's for supercart. So you can't use this with RxB. RxB comes with its own uh, REA uh, in the top GROM with RxB. That's different than this one. And I guess I could show you. So let's go to uh, the classic folder and do our install like we did before. You just grab these two right here, drag them and drop them. Okay, that's done. So now we can start up Classic. Uh, go to the cartridge, find the file. It's in the mods, as last time. Except it's uh, called REA. And REAG and R. Now, I don't know a lot about this. Maybe Tercy could explain this to people. But, you know, 
I don't see it loading R unless I put G in first. So what I do is I just load R and I go back and I load the G. That's me, I don't know any better, so I just really be safe than sorry. And it does work, so if we go to two, there's the module. Let's go to five, whoops, sorry. Let's go to seven one. And I have a program here called Edit Menu. Let's run that program. This is actually the PGRAM Edit Menu. So let's go to C, and let's say 6000. And use the quick key, because it doesn't use the quick key. And think back, function 9 jumps down in there. So now that we're inside this, let's try this. How do we check to see if it's actually working? Well, how we do that was the debugger with Classic. We go to the debugger. We pull that over here. And we're going to change this to, whoops, CPU, 6000. Now there's the memory at 6000. So if I write here, it should show up over here. Well, let's try it. A, B, C, D, whoops, click on it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's no G. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. As you can see, it's working over here. So it is working. I have a supercart and REA. So I will pour over the uh, I will pour over the rest of the features on this in the next video. This was just to show you how to install it and to show you it is easy to use with uh, Classic 99. Uh, I do love Classic 99, and uh, I wanted to prove it. And this pretty much does it. So that's it for this video. We'll talk to you guys later.